because the guy is always willing to help somebody out. And that's it. Jay's always willing to help somebody out. Always willing to lend a hand. Whether he's got time, whether he's got money. Morning guys. We're here in Tranquil Acres, outside Blue Park, Colorado. Stream makeover 2016. Here we go. Let's take a look through the house and see what we gotta take care of here. This is my apprentice, Mike Mullins. <laughs> no, this is the head guy in charge right here. This is uh, Liv, Libby. We just love this guy. We're gonna repaint both these rooms, build some shelving, finish this closet back here, put some shelves in here so it's nice and livable for them. We need to cut a dryer for them. We've been running this dryer into the house this whole time. We're also gonna add some new light fixtures in here and a CO2 slash fire detector here that'll uh, carbon monoxide type thing that'll detect any sort of uh, bad stuff going on in here. This old door staying, we're gonna leave with that. Do some flooring here on this, this landing and up these stairs. We're gonna do some carpet here, get this nice form on the feet. And then we got some uh, maple, some maple hardwood floor that's gonna go in here, uh, a caribou type color, kind of a lighter hardwood. And then we gotta go underneath here and add some insulation underneath the house. Ah, some lucky candidate gets to climb under there and do insulation. So just whatever we can do to make them useful, better than they are, and That's what I was thinking. You throw a drop off over the middle. I got a, of two of them, dude. That I got to cover it all up. They're right. actually cloth drop off. Thank you. 
expected to smell hit the smell you could have shot. <laughs> Baby shit stinks. No, Especially when it's like peanut butter and it sticks to your hand. <laughs> <laughs> Dude, don't touch anything. Don't touch anything. Okay. I'll cut a 12 footer in half and we'll put two shelves there and another shelf going down and some cubby holes. What time is it? It's quitting time. We're having beers. Five, six o'clock. Uh, wrap it yeah, up for the day. Do, like, good interview, success today. Should, I feel like, good about it. it feel good about it, folks.
you know, maybe it's not common, but I wouldn't say it's not normal. You know, it's community, man. It's about, you know, that's what, you know, I think uh, if we all acted a little bit more like we had some community, you know, everything would be a little easier. So, I don't know. I just feel like, you know, I can't, I can't tell you how many times the guys helped me out over and over and over and over. And I feel like that was the same response I got from every person I talked to was, hell yeah, I'll help. Of course I'll help. You know, Jay's helped every single person here probably many times. And uh, I just felt like the guy needs some love. This girl needs some love. They need to know everything's going to be okay. They need to know that they got community around them. They got people around them. People care about them. And uh, just hoping that this can lower their stress level and let them focus on what's important right now and uh, love on each other and know they got people around them who love them. And even though, you know, we don't even have to know Emily. All we know is she's with Jay. So we're going to love her. And it's that simple. Here. 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 They're here. They're here. They're here. Oh, oh, they're here. Oh, here she I don't know if you noticed before, but that was all insulation, not finished out or anything. Right. They redid well, all of it. Wow. <laughs> Boy, I knew it. <laughs>